Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you what my kids are going to be getting for Christmas. I have a little four year old boy and a two and a half year old daughter and I thought I'd give you a very realistic idea on what our kids are getting for Christmas. It is nothing over the top. It's within our budget and I thought I would give you a little breakdown on what they're getting and some of the whys behind it. I try and buy Christmas presents that will sort of have a use for them down the track. Let's face it, when kids are little, they just like to open things and see that it's new and it usually goes to the side. They find one toy they love and they play with it for a few months. So I've actually got some very practical things my kids are going to be having for Christmas this year. Two stars. Both my kids' school bags are on the verge of breaking. Both their zips are going, and I found these in Target the other week. Actually, to be honest, it was about a month ago. Um, I'd done all the Christmas shopping and then came across these. Instead of just replacing the kids' bags, they can still use their bags for like another two weeks before I replace them. They only go to kindy two days a week. My son is obsessed with McQueen. This is actually really good quality. It's got three zips. It's got a little pouch for his drink bottle in the side. And it's a good size for them. It's not too big. They had a few different uh, Disney movie ones there. So I think they had this one. They had Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Um, I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head. I think there might have been like a Spider-Man one maybe. No, there wasn't Spider-Man. That's not Disney. Anyway, so my son got the McQueen one. And Little Miss is into the Little Mermaid at the moment. So we got her the mermaid one. This one is fabric in the front with the mermaid picture. Whereas the McQueen one's like a, a plastic sort of covering for it. So it feels like it's pretty good quality. So we'll see how it goes. But if you were to scratch it along the floor, if your kids went to like school, that would scuff up where this one here is all soft plastic. So they were $29 each. This was literally a last minute thought gift idea. I don't usually do that, but I saw these and it had a dual purpose. Kids get to open it. They love the characters and they need new school bags. The next thing I got the kids, now my, my kids love a Milo before bed. They just do, they have since they were, they just always have. Um, we are, we've got annual passes to a local zoo uh, and they had these really cute mugs. They're tiny, they're tiny little mugs, but perfect for kids. So one's a kangaroo, and I think the other one is a koala by memory, but I thought that'd be nice to try and transition them out of a bottle. They don't need a bottle, it's just a habit they've gotten into, and use these little mugs for their nighttime drinks. They're tiny, and I think the proceeds of the items we purchased from the zoo actually go back into the zoo, so I thought that was really nice. I got these months ago. We actually got subscriptions, an annual subscription to the zoo for Father's Day, and we go there quite regularly. Saw these, the kids liked them, so I thought I would sneak it into maybe their stocking stuffers or just wrap it under the tree. I don't know. We don't really do stocking stuffers because it's just more crap to be honest the kids don't need and you're just putting it in there to fill a stocking. Anyway. The next thing I got for the kids was something for them to play with outside. Now we do have a cubby house. The kids like playing in it. They like serving it like teas and coffees. So Kmart had this one here, which is a wooden microwave, which I thought would be really good. So one of the kids will get that one. And then the next one is a coffee machine. My kids love making me my morning coffee. So I thought this one was quite cute. So between the two of them, they'll have these to play with, but one will go to one child and one will go to the other child, but they'll just use them duly together. I don't know the price of these ones here, but I really think that they were quite cost effective given that it was Kmart. Um, this one here is quite good. You get one coffee machine, six coffee pods, one mug, one spoon, and one filter for the coffee machine. It's really cute. So I think my kids are really gonna like these, keep them busy outside, have some fun. So I popped in to Mr. Toy's Toy World a few months ago. The kids are actually getting, let's just take it back a step. Our kids are getting a trampoline for Christmas. I feel naughty saying that word because we whisper it at the home, but my kids aren't home today. My kids are getting a trampoline for Christmas. It is a very large purchase and all the family members have actually pitched in to help get the trampoline. But while I was at Mr. Toy's Toy World, I saw this and my, my son is really getting into Toy Story. We watch them quite regularly in the evenings before bedtime and I saw these, these were on sale. I'm gonna say maybe $39, I can't remember to be honest. They were on sale 
he doesn't have any of the toys, so I thought I'd get him that. And because I've got a son and a daughter and I try and keep things balanced with what they get, they had, again, if you've been into Target, you've probably seen these. They've got all of the Disney range and I got Little Miss Little Mermaid with Flounder, which I thought was really cute. She's going to love when she opens this up and sees it on Christmas morning from Santa. So I got her that there. I think this was 39 it was 39 or 49 I can't remember. I'm thinking maybe it was 49 now. But that's a nice equal present for the kids to get. One tip I want to give you when it comes to Christmas with children. Have batteries. Any toys that need batteries, have batteries. Go out right now and buy some... That's my cat. Go out right now and buy some AA, AAA batteries and have them ready for Christmas morning. You are going to need them. When it comes to toys like these, there's actually a shiny box. I'll take it away. Uh, my parents used to do this when I was young, and it's a game changer for birthday and Christmas mornings. Trust me. See these little bits? They like hold the toys in so they can't fall out. Cut them off. Open the boxes up. Cut them off. And when it comes to Christmas morning, you might have one string holding the toy in, and all you need to do is snip, and they can play with it. I can tell you right now, Ariel's hair is tied down with a million strings and bits and pieces. My daughter's going to see this and want to open it and play with it straight away. I'm going to spend 20 minutes untangling it and cutting all the strings off of this damn doll for her to play with. It's going to be frustrating and I want to enjoy my morning coffee. So what I'm going to do is when I wrap these presents, I'm going to open up the boxes, cut out all of these little strings that are holding this doll in and just sit the doll in the box. So when she sees it and opens it, she can open the box, take the toy out and she can play with it straight away and buy some batteries. Now my kids usually have their own little couches on the floor. I'm trying to transition them out of it because they were literally just slumping it sit in it and we've got a couch, we've got a table they can eat at. So the couches have been sitting in the garage for about a month. They're going to get donated. We don't need them anymore. They don't use them anymore. But as an alternative, I went into Big W and they had these floor cushions, which I thought was a really cool idea. Little Miss has a day nap, so she goes upstairs for a sleep. Little Man does it and he's refusing to lay down. But I saw these and I thought, well, when it comes to quiet time and sit down time, these can be like little floor cushions they can sit on. I think these were $25 each. No one puts price tags on things anymore. I'm going to say $25. They could have been $29. This one is a unicorn print, which just so happens Little Miss absolutely loves, and dinosaur for Little Man. And when they're done, I can like stack them, put them beside the TV unit so it takes up less room. But I thought this would be great just to pull out for the kids to sit on. If they want to watch a movie in the evening, they can put it on the floor to lay on it. They can put it on the couch. They could eat their morning tea on it. It would probably fit in my washing machine if I needed to wash it. So I've gotten these for the kids. Stay tuned for future videos and Instagram stories where these will probably get featured. I think these will be a, a very good hit with my kids. That is what I had planned to give my kids for Christmas. However, it is my son's birthday in late November and he got a lot of birthday presents. And my husband and I were very mindful that we didn't want to over give presents to him. So there was a couple of gifts we didn't give. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this so it's equal with the children. The first one, they were supposed to get this for Christmas. Uh, for, they were supposed to get this for his birthday. It's a traffic light set. I got this from Big W. The kids are going to love it. So I think this can be a shared present for Christmas. It's got all the traffic lights. I need to get batteries for this one. I'm well aware of that. But it's got the red, yellow, green lights on a stand. It looks really, really really cool. They're going to love it. They ride their bikes around, play games, stop, start. I think this will have lots of fun outdoors for the kids. So this was meant to be a birthday present, but I've paused it and it's going to be a Christmas present. Christmas present for both the kids. How I'm going to make that work, I don't know, but it's going to be for both the kids. The other present that was supposed to be for his birthday, but again, he just got too many things and I'm very mindful when they're that little. If this becomes another box they open and they don't actually see and appreciate the toy because they're busy playing with everything else they got. 
So I picked this up a while ago from Kmart. It's a wooden tool bench. My son last year got a bunch of tools for Christmas. And then I saw this, which is a tool bench, and I thought that would go really well, potentially outside beside the cubby house, which is undercover, and all his tools can go in it. He can screw things into the bench top, hang his tools up, but it's a really big box. Little Miss will play with it, but I don't know how I'm going to get this to work. Do I give him this box here that they're both going to play with? And do I give Little Miss this box to open that they can both play with? I don't know. I'm going to have to work my way through what I'm going to do because I, I know when they're this young, you've got to have it semi-equal for them. All oh, those arguments. <laughs> but that is what the kids are getting for Christmas. My husband and I don't really do like massive presents or anything. If we go to friends' houses, we might take like a bunch of flowers or some chocolates a small little gift for somebody. We don't really go extravagant. I think Christmas is a time of year where you're meant to spend time with people, not spend money on people. And that's what I want my kids to understand that it's time, it's not a money thing. Uh, we wanna wake up Christmas morning and have fun and enjoy the presents they've got and actually enjoy them, not just open present after present after present and forget they've got some, they're very, very lucky with some of the things they did get. That is it guys, that is all, that is what my kids are getting for Christmas. They are getting quite a few things in my mind. It is quite enough what they were getting. They are very young and they like to open lots of things. So even just wrapping this individually and having them open it, they'll get a big smile on their face and that'll make me happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, let me know down below or come up to my Instagram page. Um, I might do a bit of a, a wrap with me chit chat live on my Instagram page and I will sh share some videos of when Santa arrives and how we put the presents under the tree that is it from me and we'll talk soon bye ho ho ho